Hello and welcome to today's episode. Today let's pick on POTS. POTS is, as you all have probably heard, it's this thing. Right there. I'm not even going to pronounce it because I don't have my glasses on. But this is where when you go from a laying down position or a seated position and you go and you stand up, all of a sudden your blood pressure increases and as a result you become dizzy. There's another condition as well that does just the opposite. When you go to stand up and, or when you go from a laying down position to a seated or a stand up position, your blood pressure drops, okay? It's really the very similar in nature. One just is triggered by a dropping of blood pressure where the other one's a, a result of an increase in, pro, in blood pressure. So we all know the world's most famous pot patient, okay? She's always sitting Indian style because this somehow res re resolves her POTS condition. Okay. And this is her once again, and this is her being pushed in a wheelchair through a thing of logs, which I've never really quite understood. I'm not sure if they're in a walkway here or what, but it looks like Omar is struggling a little bit to make this work those photo ops are just always they always get me in a little you know they always gotta get under my skin a little bit okay let me go back to the camera is POTS a disability not based on where is it at here Not currently a listed category under the Social Security Administration. Is POTS a real disorder? The answer is yes. Is it a disability? You know, a lot of people have conditions that they become a disability if we make them a disability. You know, you got a bit of hearing loss and technically you can call that a, learn a, a, a disability. You know, some people have other conditions, and technically they could be turned into a disability. But how we approach challenges really determines the disabling factor of the challenge. If we turn it into an overblown situation, it becomes disabling. Is POTS a dangerous condition? I mean, technically you could fall over. Technically you could pass out. Yeah. But the fact is there are things you as the individual can do by thinking ahead to prevent that from happening. You know, I have the other condition. I don't have the blood pressure. I don't have the POTS variety. I have the other condition. I'm six foot four. And that's really common in tall people. You know, the one thing you never see, and I've said this before, you never see basketball players sitting Indian style on the bench. There's a reason. You know, when we go and we lay down and we sit up quickly, all of a sudden, just like with pots, we get a little lightheaded, a little... And as I'm getting older, it's getting more noticeable, more common. But you know what? You just learn to think ahead. Okay, I've laid down for a while. I'm going to sit up, take my time, just do what I need to do. And once everything is stabilized, stand up and go forward. I don't know why everybody turns us into a big problem. I mean, all these clinics are popping up over this condition. 
who specialize in tilt table tests and this and that and folks you're being convinced that something that is not that big of a deal really is you know post-external malaise is a big deal pots you know if I go and I've had and I go and I take a hot shower, pots can trigger, or, you know, the other thing can, can trigger. But for the most part, you just have to think, you just have to think ahead. You have to have clarity in your brain to think ahead. And if you're strung out on drugs, it's hard to think clear. You know, I've, I've always said people with disabilities have to take responsibility for the challenges that they face. And the more responsibility you accept, the more understanding you have of a condition, the more you can manage it, or the more you can let the condition manage you. Don't let this condition manage you. Don't let any condition manage you. And don't let people who probably mean well convince you that mindset doesn't matter I'm not gonna sit here and say pots is a hundred percent safe because it's not you know, but then again neither is you know just walking outside I mean nothing in life is safe but for the most part most of us can get up go to the kitchen and it's safe do we have to do things to make it work sometimes? Yeah, but you know what? That coffee ain't gonna make itself. Well, I guess technically it does nowadays. But you know what I'm trying to say here? We sound ridiculous because we turn every little dinky challenge into an un- achievable objective obstacle un whatever they call it unsurmountable obstacle everything is blown out of proportion and people with negative mindsets people with depression people with an anxiety people with you know whatever have a tendency to do this People who were relatively sound and balanced in their approach to things. So we got a condition. Whoopee. We'll manage. We'll overcome it. We'll, we'll manage the condition so the stupid condition doesn't manage us. When I stand up from the bed and, and it becomes clear to my wife there's a problem, first thing I do is I just put my hands on the bed and wait for it to balance itself out. You know, and then after a moment or so, it's not taking me 10 minutes. It takes me just a moment. You know, our bodies have a natural overriding feature of this dizziness. You know, once this happens, you then can stand up and continue. Does this happen a lot? For me, it happens more if I've laid down longer for a period of time. If I've laid down for a short period of time, I usually don't experience this. But, you know, first thing in the morning, I'll experience this. Um, if I've laid down for three or four hours, I may experience this. Do I experience this all the, every time I sit up or stand up? No. Have I ever fallen? Not from that. I'm a high fall risk, and like I've said before, I'm partially paralyzed. But for the most part, you know, like with anything, you just learn to manage the challenge that the, that the condition presents itself with. And you do that by keeping this little thing up here clear. And the best way to do that is to avoid these pharmaceuticals that they're shoving down our throats. Most things we face can be managed with a positive mindset approach, but you have to do your own homework. Till next time, take care, be careful, be smart. Thank you.